Since they transitioned to gesture navigation on Android, Google has made sure to display this line at the bottom of the screen. Some people are okay with this being shown, but others would rather it not be visible because it takes away from the immersion of full screen applications. It is possible for an app developer to configure their application or game so that the gesture navigation pill is not visible, but sadly very few application developers are doing this right now on Android. Now previously we used things like ADB commands to push the navigation bar off the screen so that we could use something like fluid navigation gestures as a third party navigation alternative. However, that ceased to work with Android's more recent updates since Google removed that ADB command that we were using. So in today's video, I want to show you a Majisk module called Full Screen Immersive Gestures that you can use to get rid of Android's gesture navigation pill at the bottom of the screen here. This is only going to work if you have Majisk installed as your root manager and it requires Majisk version 20 or higher as well as Android 10, 11, 12, or 13 for it to work. So the first thing we need to do is download the Majisk module and save it to your smartphone. I'll be linking to this GitHub page in the video description below, and we'll also include a mirror download link for the latest version available of this Majisk module so that it is easy for you to download. So after the module has been downloaded, we're gonna go in and open up the Majisk application, and then we're gonna tap the modules tab down here at the bottom so that we can select the install from storage button down here at the top. Now we're going to browse and then tap the immersive gestures module that we just downloaded. And you can see here, once it begins the installation process, it's going to ask us for input via the volume up or volume down button and just as you saw right now we need to do it rather quickly for this to work so if you do not press the button quick enough it's going to ask you again and then if you fail to do it within that time limit it's going to do an installation failed message and we're going to need to install it again we're going to select full screen mode and then we're going to do the low or module default and we do not want to disable the back gesture so we're going to do volume down on those last two so as a summary we picked the full screen option with volume up and then low sensitivity with volume down and then we did not disable the back gesture with volume down again once all three of those are set correctly, you can see it's setting the permissions and then it is done. And like with all Majisk modules, once we install and activate it, we're gonna need to reboot the smartphone. The best thing about this module is that it is a Majisk module. So this change is done systemlessly, meaning if we are not happy with the results, we can simply uninstall or disable the module and it will be exactly how our phone was before. But as long as you followed along with the process that I showed you on screen. 
you're going to boot back up into Android and now you're going to see that that bottom gesture pill that line that sticks at the bottom of the screen is no longer there it doesn't matter if we're in an application the bottom pill is still gone whether that is a web browser an app or even just the settings thanks to the full screen immersive gestures magisk module we have disabled that bottom pill on Android.